So I only need one scoop. So that's why this is so cheap. You only, you know, you don't have to use any, any material on this. And then, if you if you use ever use Siltec, this is kind of a good way to measure what you do. You just put three lines from top to bottom, and it kind of gives you about the exact measurement of catalyst that you need. And you just mix it all together, knead it all up. Kind of messy, kind of gooey, but get the color uniform. It's and it's perfect. If you don't get that color uniform, acrylic will stick to this. Yeah, that's one thing that happened in the last class too. So I want to uh, double check on that. Make sure that there's no swirls. As you can see right now, I've got swirls of pink in there. Wherever we got swirls of pink, the material is not going to set up. And what happens is when we go to uh, boil out and, and pack it in there, the acrylic sticks right to where it didn't set up. And so then you're scraping putty off. It comes off really easy. I mean, all you got to do is use a bristle brush or something and it comes right off. But it's just why I have to go through that extra. So it's all ready to go. I make it into a snake-like, put it around my interiors first, and I'm pressing firmly. I mean, I am really pushing that in there. I'm trying not to, to uh, trap any air whatsoever. As soon as it gets over the top, I start pressing it down, expose whoops, all my incisal edges. <laughs> okay. All my cusp tips. So I'm really pressing down on that too. I want to get that so that they show through really well because that's my stone stop. If I don't put that stop in there, and then I'll just take my fingernail and just kind of put little kind of more retention in there. You don't have to be too perfect on any of that. And you don't have to worry about where this comes down to, too. Now it'll be a nice place for that stone. It'll just catch right underneath there, too. <coughs> And that's it. How long did that take me to do? And now I know that when it comes down to divesting this case and that finisher getting it to finish, it's going to be clean. Yeah, it's going to be really, your really clean. Spray. What's that? You got to fix your auxiliary spray. Oh, I didn't see that. You can put a new one on if you want to. Okay, I need to. Okay. That'll be fine. Just doesn't look as pretty, that's all. Okay, so now, get the air out, so yeah, it doesn't have to have a particular shape. So now I'll just go around, and all I have to paint is basically the land areas wherever there's stone. Now you don't even have to wait for this to really set up to pour your top half. I could literally go right over there right now, put this together, pour my top half. <clears throat> okay, so go ahead. What is uh, who would like to try this? If we want to anybody, do, if somebody Nobody, wants to do it, doesn't, this, want, we'll, doesn't matter. We'll do 